I'm Steve McLaughlin, and I've recently moved to Sakihara Street. Come in! <laughs> so this is my friend. A dark, creepy hallway. Nah, I'm just playing with you. Let's head up to the crib. So I'm on the third floor, which means there's a lot of steps to climb up. I'm fine. Do this every day. Live here with three other flatmates who love and respect me so dearly. Maybe if you're lucky, we might get to meet a few of them. Let's go in. Welcome to the crib. So this is the main lobby area. You know where all of our stuff goes, like the bikes, the laundry, the hairbrushes, whatever on earth this thing is. See, I have enough flat with engineers, so when you come home you never know what you're going to expect to find in the hall. Let's see if any of my flatmates are in. This is Josh's room. Josh loves me. What's up Josh? Good day at uni today? Ah, look at him. He loves me. That's Josh. Always likes to kid. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at the rest of the flat. As you can see, we've just got shoes lying around, bedding that's been here for about a month, but here we are. Now brace yourself for this, because most cribs, house, flat, whatever, like lookabouts, you go to the living room and then the kitchen, or the kitchen and then the living room. But this is a kitchen and living room in one. Now come in and see this. Isn't it, isn't it five star quality? We've got forks in the ground, standard. Yeah, she's not done. And look. Now, today's a really lucky day. You can actually see the counter. Usually it's either got food on it, crumbs, plates, undone dishes, random pieces of mouldy banana, whatever. Like I say, with a flat of engineers, you never know what you're going to come into. This is our trophy cabinet. Now you may look at it and go, why Stephen? It's just a banana. It's just a cone. What, what's it got to do with? But everything in this cabinet has a story to tell. I'll show you. You see... When the flat goes out, tonight's out, Mango, Garage, wherever we're feeling, we managed to get what I like to call Conquest of the Night. <laughs> and that's not including the trophy cabinet. <laughs> and that's not including the trophy cabinet. <laughs> so in our trophy cabinet we have... Um, <laughs> uh, I can't get a girlfriend. Uh. But yeah, so in our trophy cabinet we have... Um, a balloon, not a balloon, inflatable. an inflatable golf club, standard for playing golf. Caught that one at a, we went to garage and there was a golf night out, which is also where we got this visor piece. We got fancy wands from Halloween, managed to acquire these, they were left in our flat. Conquest of the night, a cone and a banana. As I say, each thing has a story to tell. Tune in for another episode if we decide to do one later on in the year and we might have a full trophy cabinet. Heck, we might even have a few trophy cabinets lined up against the wall. You'll just have to wait and see. An inflatable golf club, standard for playing golf. We've got fancy wands from Halloween. Man 
a cone, and a banana. As I say, each thing has a story to tell. One of the perks I'm living in Sucky Hall Street is you've got a lovely view of the city. I'll show you. Ah, just open these single glazing windows that make this flat extra cold. Ugh. This is the second busiest street in the whole of Scotland. I may have just made that up, but it's a pretty busy street. And it's got so many lovely people walking up and down. You can literally just wave at people and shout on them and they'll wave back. Hello there! Hello! Hello! Ah, what are people like? Glaswegians. So funny. <laughs> oh. As you can see, our fridges are no normal fridge because we are writing on them. And the one of main attraction is the flat activities. So we decided to make these flat activities where we go out and do things together as a flat. We have, we have simple flat activities like uh, Sucky Hall Streak and Mango Mankini Night. In fact, this one's scored off. We gave each other flat haircuts. That's why my hair is so stylish. But what's inside the fridge? Well, our flat, you can always find our fridge stocked up. <laughs> I mean, I've not been the shopping recently. It's not what this fridge is usually like, you know. You know, with ready meals because I can't cook. And, oh yeah, half bottle of two pound wine from Aldi. <laughs> gonna close the fridge. And this is where the magic happens. My room. Oh yeah. Bed not been made in about five weeks. Hair dryer out, still plugged in. Underwear on display for you all to see. Xbox. Clothes on the floor, bag in the way of everything. I got a pretty sweet setup here. Come over here to my desk. Ah, oh, my ready made meal from a couple of nights ago. Can't be bothered putting it in the sink. I mean, I'd have to wash the dishes, you know. Water randomly on my desk, soap and hand sanitizer, law books out. Pride and joy is this beauty. This isn't finished yet, but this is my Scott Rail ticket door. And the next room in the house is the bathroom. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go on like this for this part of the video. I'm sure no one means. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Definitely not been cleaned in a couple of weeks. Toothbrush, shower, water on the floor. Well, well at least I hope it's water. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. <coughs> now I'm going to show you something really exciting. Follow me. An exclusive look at the dungeon will be in this video just now. I've never been, none of you have ever been. Let's go together. Rumor has it, the evil troll of Mango, the neighboring barbells out here. But I don't know. There's a creepy door. a lot of profanity on the walls. Our younger viewers may wish to switch off now. <laughs> Anything could be through this door. You okay? Yeah. Is this not where the bins are? Mm, I don't know actually mate. I don't know if they've been the last side or that side. Oh know. okay. I don't see any bins here anyway. No, you're right, maybe you're right. <laughs> Apologies. Just make sure when you come in, close that door because 
some people come use the drugs don't stay today. Oh, of course, of course, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I told you there was an evil troll that lived down here from Mango. So this is the outside. I suppose our humble garden. Let's go and find those bins. So that's pretty much it. Casa de Steven with a V. Shown around the entire area of the house that is of my property. Now I'm going to kindly ask you to leave because you've been nothing but a pain to me this entire time. No, but you can't just leave me. Like, no, but you can't. You can. I, I can't get back in my flat. I, I can't get back in. The, the door will go to me. And Josh won't answer the door. He won't, he won't answer the door to me. Please. Please come back. <laughs> 